All right, in recent months, we've seen a number of outrageous overreactions by elementary school officials all across the country. Kindergartners, first graders have been among the students punished over so-called gun-related matters. You know, like the five-year-old Pennsylvania girl who was suspended for 10 days after she joked about shooting her friend with a Hello Kitty bubble gun that's similar to the one you see there on your screen. Now, we saw suspensions of two separate occasions in Maryland, one in Montgomery County, one in Talbot County, where boys were reprimanded for pointing their fingers in the shape of guns. But as ridiculous as those examples are, well, we have one tonight out of Loveland, Colorado, that takes the top prize. Second grader in that city has been suspended for, get this, playing a game he calls Rescue the World. His weapon of choice to achieve that task, however, was not an imaginary gun or a Hello Kitty bubble shooter. It was a non-existent imaginary grenade. Now, Fox 31 in Denver caught up with the seven-year-old, and here's the reporter, Julie Hayden. I just can't believe I got suspended. Seven-year-old Alex Evans doesn't understand his suspension. They said I was being suspended. Any better than he can pronounce it. It's called Rescue the World. He was playing the game during recess at Loveland's Mary Blair Elementary School and threw an imaginary grenade into a box with what he okay. called pretend I evil forces it. inside. I uh, pretend I had something in my hand. I pretend the box and there's something shaking in it. And I go, and I go. He did not throw anything real or make any threats against anyone. Are you okay? He explains he was pretending to be the hero. So nothing can get out of it and destroy the world. Yeah. But his imaginary play broke okay. the real rules. The school lists what it calls absolutes under the parent resources section of its website. Absolutely no fighting, real or imaginary, and no weapons, real or imaginary. Maybe he could teach Obama a thing or two about dealing with evil. Now, like all Americans, we all want our kids to be safe at school, but we need to remember, kids sometimes need to be kids, especially on the playground. I guess if I was a kid today, I'd be arrested.